gonna show you guys my go-to motive balls that are in my bag every time I bowl. House shots, sports shots, all the shots. They're all these ones are the ones I bring all the time. So if you ever seen me bowl in a tournament, you've seen me throw this ball. The road blade. By far one of my favorite balls out. By motive. Mainly because it's a ball that I can just I can throw on a pattern. Once I watch it go down the lane, I know exactly what it's going to do. I know how it's going to roll. It's a smooth, a little bit earlier ball that I can play fairly straight with when I need to. And then if I need to hook it, I can start hooking it. Usually it needs a decent bit of volume for it to really perform it the best it possibly can. Next ball I'm going to show you. It's probably the most famous ball in Moto's lineup, the Venom Shock. If you don't know what this ball is, you've been sleeping under a rock. I've rehearsed that. So, the Venom Shock basically allows me to do similar things to what the Rogue Blade does, but it's got a little lower differential in it, and the cover is probably a little bit weaker, but it's still a solid shell ball. So when, if I'm on a really dry lane surface, or I just need my ball to get down lane that just a tiny bit more, but I don't really need to be in like a pearlized or weaker ball yet, this ball allows me to do it. So it's a really good complement for the road blade if you have both of them. So, my next and probably my favorite ball is the Primal Rage. This is the LE, meaning it is the remake of the original Primal Rage. This ball is pretty unique because it's a similar strength level to the Road Blade, but the cover is a lot cleaner and a little more down lane. This ball will create some serious angle, but at the same time, give you a lot of control. So it is really good when the Venom Shock and the Road Blade just start, you know, just giving you too much ball reaction. You can go to this ball, you can still keep a smooth breakpoint shape, but you can still cover a ton of boards with it. to the Jackal Ghost. Jackal Ghost is special. In fact, I've never thrown anything like it. It has a really high differential and a pretty low RG, so anytime you normally get those, that combination, the ball is going to be super early and, and not very like continuous down lane. It's going to give you that good hook stop motion, and you're going to be able to go through a really high amount of oil. But not this ball. This ball has got an interesting cover stock on it, and it, you can use it dull, shiny, polished, however you want it. But this ball is, is clean through the front part of the lane, but still grabs enough to handle a high volume. And at the same time, it's clean enough that you can get on some lighter volume patterns and still use it. 
Also, the other crazy thing is you can go straight with it, or you can drill it to really turn down lane and use it from you know fourth arrow and fifth arrow and really cover a lot of boards when you need to. So, pretty special piece that's always in my bag that really complements the Rogue Blade and the Venom Shock whenever I need my ball to really start being more angular. So, this ball's a little bit on the old side now, but it is the Villain. The original one, it's got a solid cover on it. It's got an interesting combination with core numbers. I think that's what it makes it so unique for me. It has a higher RG, but paired with a very high differential. So, this ball naturally wants to get down lane a little bit, but since it's got such strong core in it, it will still grab the mid lane and give you one heck of a back end motion. Super, super clean, super continuous, and whenever I need to really open my angles up and send it in that friction early, this ball will do it every time. So, this is all new, this is the Motive Ripcord, and this ball features the super popular Oblivion cut, uh, core, and it's got like a, a mild uh, differential, so it's a medium, it's a, and it's got a fairly low RG, and the Oblivion core was in the Paranoia line, which was super popular with Motive, but this one, definitely the first kind of ball reaction you're going to get out of the Oblivion core. This has is nothing like the other ones. This ball will give you a smooth or angular breakpoint shape depending on how you're trying to drill it. In fact, I have a couple videos out on it if you want to see that firsthand. But this ball, I've already thrown it in a couple different tournaments now and the cover is weak enough to where it can be the one of the last balls out of my bag and give me a strong shape even when in a high amount of friction. Or, I can drill it to be a little bit earlier, and the core still retains a smooth shape, and I can use it maybe after the Venom Shock. Not So I can use it fairly early in the day, or the block still, on long patterns, medium patterns, and short patterns. Just depending on how much friction there is. It's got a super weak cover on it, so it allows me to keep the ball flying through the front part of the lane, and, I'm not, and I don't necessarily have to worry about throwing it a lot harder or lofting it over the heads. So this ball is a staple in my bag for keeping my ball a little more controlled.